Greetings and welcome. I'm so thrilled to have you join me on the Gadget 360 show because I have so much good stuff to show you. We'll start off with the photographer's dream camera. This is the Fujifilm X-T5 camera. Now, you know, the X-T series is all about still photography, not necessarily the greatest for video, still pretty good, but the X-T series, and especially the X-T5 is looking fantastic. Next-gen camera in the X series made for photographers, lots and lots of features that I want to tell you about. Then we'll take a look at Dell's commercial laptop line up now. Product for hybrid setups, monitors, workstations, laptops, focus on security and sustainability. Dell seems to be on an absolute roll and I want to show you all of that. Then we'll show you the soundbar from LG, the LG S95. LG's flagship soundbar for 2023. Triple level spatial sound. AI room calibration. Really, really good looking. And you know, it's not so big yet. The sound is absolutely awesome. Then we'll take you to Sony's camera lounge. Sony's biggest camera lounge in India now. Second camera lounge in the country. Hands-on experience with cameras, accessories. You can go there, spend an entire day just taking a look at all that you love. And of course, what you really love is me starting off with the Gadget 360 show, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. DJI globally introduced the Mavic 3 Pro, a drone with a triple camera system, a first for the Mavic series. A 4x3 CMOS Hasselblad camera, an upgraded 166mm telecamera and a 70mm telecamera. It is a deadly combo indeed. The Mavic 3 Pro is packed with features that will help you get your perfect shot. From focus tracking to omnidirectional obstacle avoidance to high quality video transmission, it is said to be the drone that gets the job done. It is a promising product but we are curious about its entrance into the Indian market. Acer introduced a range of products last week at its global conference, from laptops and desktops to an air purifier. There is a lot to look forward to. The company assures that these products come packed with intelligent features and the latest AI technologies. We look forward to seeing these futuristic devices up close. Our top story is the top of the line camera, the Fujifilm X. T5 camera. Now, 40.2 megapixel sensor. And of course, for those of you that understand, this is a big deal on a camera. It may not sound like a lot on a phone. This is fantastic. 160 megapixel images with pixel shift. In body image stabilization is included. Twice the processing speed as before 6.2K at 30 frames per second. So that you can even shoot video, even though this is not a video centric camera at all. Increased battery life. And just for the body, you do pay a lakh and 58,000 rupees. Fujifilm is back with another flagship camera as part of its X-T series. This time it's the X-T5 and it took its time entering the Indian market but it's here and we're excited to test it out. Here's a quick glimpse of all the top features this camera has to offer. In terms of the design, Fuji cameras have maintained the traditional analog look which is a charm in itself. Fuji has been very consistent with its ergonomics across the X-T series except for some minor changes. The immediate predecessor, the X-T4, had a different screen. Fuji has gone back to the three-way tilting LCD screen, most likely because the camera is primarily for photographers and the tilt screen offers a faster and more efficient way to capture photos. The X-T5 is also lighter than the X-T4, but the difference is barely noticeable. It also has a bigger grip which can be a positive change depending on the size of your hand. Besides this, the design is about the same with lots of dials to easily adjust settings on the go. A highlight feature of this camera is that it has a 40.2 MP BSI imaging sensor for improved picture quality. It has twice the processing speed as the X-T4. The camera also comes with subject detection which helps keep your main subject in focus. In the X-T3 version, it detected the eye to maintain focus, but now the camera is able to identify specific subjects, which increases accuracy. The most unique feature that this camera brings to the table is its 160MP image capturing feature via the pixel shift multi-shot option. The final image is a compilation of multiple frames leading to a clearer and more detailed image that also has very good color depth and accuracy. Fuji has also increased the battery life on this camera, which was a needed upgrade. 
The company claims that the battery life is up to 740 frames, which is a good ascension from the 600 frames that the X-T4 offered. We were able to use it for 3-4 to four hours, running on only half the battery life. So you just got a quick highlight of this amazing X-T5 camera that Fujifilm has introduced. And as promised, I have someone very special here. We have Abhishek here who's been a long time Fuji user. And you can see he has his X-T3 here with him. So he tried both these cameras today. Right now, can you tell our viewers a little bit about what your first or initial reaction was when you started using this? So I was very happy to use the X-T5. Um, the primary thing I would say is the experience of shooting it is greatly improved by the enhanced grip because it seemed like in the X-T3 my pinky finger always hung off the body a little bit but this it seems like I can get my entire hand around it. And to top it all off, the new film simulation, nostalgic negative, that I love it when cameras try to emulate older analog cameras. That felt really good to shoot and I felt that the color profile was really, really well defined and just pleasing. But what are some things that you felt like in this particular area, it fell short of you know reaching that potential? So one of the things I would have really loved to see, especially when you're out shooting in the bright outdoors, is a really, really bright LCD and EVF. Like the EVF, sure, I can put my eye to it, but if I'm shooting waist level, which the screen really enables, just not being able to see the screen without having to cover my eyes or cover the screen in some way or find some shade that really hampered the experience of shooting waist level. Would you upgrade or would you suggest someone who has an X-T3 camera like you, would you tell them yes you should upgrade it? Like there is a chunky upgrade that you will see going from the X-T3 to the X-T5. Things just feel nicer. Even the build quality seems just that much better. So. If you are able to, you should definitely upgrade to the X-T5. The X-T5 has come a long way from the X-T3 and has also improved significantly from the X-T4 in terms of its performance and quality and it definitely has a lot to offer. But we do wonder whether the cost of 1,58,000 is a bit on the pricey side just for the body. Now beyond this, you also need lenses and according to how many you buy or which one you choose, it can get really heavy on your pocket. So if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, there are a lot of other cameras out there. We are curious whether Fuji themselves is going to provide a little bit more affordable uh, option for this series in particular and we look forward to that. But otherwise, it's a great option for those who are willing to invest. It has quite a lot of features to offer. Next up is Dell's commercial laptop lineup. Lots and lots of cool stuff in Dell's portfolio. Hybrid working, lots of products for that. They've launched under many different series, the Optiplex, the Latitude, the Precision. Then they've got commercial monitors also. Dell Optimizer for increased security and efficiency. So Dell's portfolio really seems to have taken a huge jump. Take a look. Dell Technologies announced its latest commercial lineup of products for the Indian market. The portfolio includes Latitude Notebooks, Precision Mobile Workstations, Optiplex's all-in-one desktop and a 34-inch ultra-sharp curve monitor to name a few. The products are promised to be game-changers for hybrid work environments. From a Dell Technologies standpoint of view, we embraced whether it's a remote work or a hybrid work more than a decade back. And it is not only about the device, but lots of importance is coming in in terms of the security aspect, right? With the threats coming in, so how do we ensure that we have the, the, the device which is the right from a user productivity or the application which he or she has been working on standpoint of view and um, having the right security features and definitely the sustainability, right? Sustainability is core to our heart. And today in this uh, launch event, there is not a single plastic being used. Dell has primarily focused on security, sustainability and connectivity in their lineup. The company has attempted to transform their overall computing ecosystem through some added technologies, especially through the latest version of the Dell Optimizer. From the world's smallest 14-inch commercial PC to the world's first haptic collaboration touchpad and zero lattice keyboard, the collection is stacked with cutting-edge features and technologies. They promise both style and performance perfect for the workplace. It's not only about a device, it's more about whether it comes with right solutions or not. For example, with, with the new team members joining in, IT, IT DMs will think about hey, how we can reduce the onboarding time. 
So we have various services offering which are there wherein whenever the user gets the device, when the user powers on, the productivity time is basically not compromised. So all the applications are factory installed for the user basically to work on. The showcase also included accessories like keyboards, mice, headphones and more. Dell's 2023 commercial lineup seems promising, but we look forward to seeing how well the products in this portfolio perform under pressure. Let's take a break right now on the show. When we come back, lots more happening. Next up is a soundbar we all really, really like, the LG S95 soundbar. So this soundbar, first of all, looks really good. It's not that thick, big one that sometimes just, you know, sits on top of the TV itself and covers the picture. Five up firing channels, immersive 3D sound, smart up mixer, 810 watt total output, auto low latency, great amount of AI built in to get that spatial sound right, to get the calibration right. Starting price is about 1 lakh rupees. LG's flagship soundbar of 2023, the S95, has finally arrived in India. It is said to be a complete package for home cinema buffs and we are excited to see how well it can follow through. Let's have a closer look and find out. Physically, the soundbar is quite long. It comes with a subwoofer and rear speakers that connect to it wirelessly, allowing for a clean setup. It features a more sensitive sensor that allows for more distance between the speakers. According to LG, you can place them in different corners of your room and get a best-in-class home theater experience. The S95 soundbar allows you to surround yourself in an immersive environment with its 9.1.5 channel setup, which includes the world's first upward-firing center channel to help you hear dialogue extremely clearly. It pushes the sound of dialogue towards your screen, making it sound more natural. It produces up to 810 watts of audio. The rear speakers also have a six-channel setup with up-firing channels, so sound is thrown at you from every direction. The soundbar can also upmix any stereo audio source into surround sound. The S95 also has a feature called AI Room Calibration Pro, which means it can be tuned to the dimensions and characteristics of your room using spatial awareness technology. It is able to recognize and calculate the size of a room and balance its EQ and levels accordingly. Being an LG soundbar, it works the best with LG TVs, but it works fine even with other televisions. It did initially give us some connection issues, but the incredible audio quality made us forget about that. The default setting is a little heavy on the bass, but that can easily be adjusted. The S95 comes at a starting cost of Rs. 1 lakh, which is on the pricey side. If you have the money to spare, it could give you a great home theater setup. If not, there are less expensive alternatives out there. And now I'm going to take you to Sony's camera lounge. This is a hands-on experience. Just go to this camera lounge. You can play around with all the Sony cameras, accessories, lenses, all Alpha series cameras there. Zone to test cinema line cameras also. 40 plus lenses that are actually out there for you to try out. And there is a gallery out there that you can try all this stuff at. So great stuff by Sony. Let's take a look. hands-on experience before buying a product is becoming a norm today. One such product that you have to try in person before buying is the camera. So Sony is here with the second camera lounge in India. This is the largest one in the country and we're going to give you a quick tour of this place and show you the different things that they offer and also the benefits that you can get here. So let's get started. The 
first zone that you will see as soon as you enter through the doors of this camera lounge is this area, which is the Alpha area. Now what this area has is it has every single camera that's part of the Alpha series. The best part in my opinion, you know, I don't know if you have the same experience, but when I go to a camera store and I feel like I want to shoot something that looks beautiful, but there's nothing ever good to shoot. But if you look here, there's such a beautiful centerpiece that they have right here for you. So you can just pick up the camera and you can see the capacity, the capabilities that it has in terms of color, in terms of depth, whatever you want, you can test it out right here. Another cool thing is that each camera comes with two lenses that you can test out. I feel like one lens sometimes can really reduce the range. And so you get to truly see and test out the camera to its full potential. So this is a really, really cool area. We're going to move on to the next one and talk more about that. Let's go. This next section is where you can see all these gorgeous, beautiful lenses behind me. As you know, Sony has about 72 E-mount lenses out of which they've put 38 here on display. The cool part about this lounge is that you can get access to any of them and try them out right here. For example, if I'm asking the staff member here, if you can please give me the 200 to 600 millimeter lens, he's gonna immediately get it out for me and I can test it and try it here. You have lenses all the way to the 600 one here. These are lenses that are very rare to find, let alone try out before purchasing. So you're getting this cool opportunity right here. Now this is heavy, but I get to try it out here. So do come and test it yourself here before you buy. I'm gonna give this back and try it in a bit and we'll move on to the next section. You might be wondering where am I now? I went from lenses, cameras, to this couch right here. But as you can see, these cameras, these are the cinema line cameras that Sony offers. And it's really cool because you can try them out here through this small setup that they have arranged for you. If you can see, there are screens down there that reveal this part, whatever you're shooting in this part. So you get to truly have that cinematic experience. How would it be if I was actually shooting a film on a set or a short movie? You get all of that right here. So the lenses that I've just shown you, those include lenses that are part of this line as well. Isn't that crazy? You have the full package experience right here. I'm at the vlogging part of this store where you get not only the cameras, but you have lenses, you have external mics, you have even headphones to see the difference in sound quality between the external mics and the inbuilt um, mics. But you know, what's cool about this area is first of all, everything here is made specifically for vlogging. It's designed so that you have the best vlogging experience. They've also consistently maintained that theme of giving you different products to shoot and to test it out. So here you see in the sides, you have different, a whole range of different products that you can shoot and try and test for yourself. This is one of my favorite parts of this lounge, the Alpha Gallery. Now every picture that you can see behind me was shot on an Alpha camera and it's so beautiful. You can see it has a range of different kinds of photos. You have wildlife here, you have uh, marriages, weddings, you have people dancing, you have all kinds of photos right here displayed. So this is not only an area where you can try out the camera, but you can also see the results that you have, the capacity that the cameras have and the kind of photos you can also take. So it's definitely a worth it experience. We've given you a quick glimpse of this Sony lounge. There's a lot more that you can see. There are accessories that belong to Sony. There are third party accessories. But this is what we have for you in store today. There's more, but you can come and check that out. But we're going to head out from here for today. See you next time. That then is the Gadget 360 show for this week. So much stuff that we covered from cameras to Dell's new portfolio, a brilliant soundbar from LG. But remember, when we do something really fantastic in a week, we're only kind of warming up for next week where I have an incredible portfolio of great gadgets to show you. I'll see you next week right here on the Gadget 360 show.